From Apollo Creed in the Rocky movies to The Mandalorian, Carl Weathers entertained generations of fans. The linebacker turned actor died Thursday in his sleep. He was 76. All right, sports nicknames. Dear Billy Nine Nuts, uh, with the passing of the great Carl Weathers, I went back and watched the Rockies he co-starred in. I fell off the couch laughing when before the first fight, they rattled off his nicknames. Oh, I remember this. The Dancing Destroyer, the King of Sting, the Thane of Pain. What is a Thane? The Prince of Punch, the Master of Disaster, the one and only. My favorite, though, the Count of Montefisto. The Dancing Destroyer, the King of Sting, the Count of Montefisto. What are your uh, favorite sports nicknames? Big fan, thanks, and go fuck yourself, you bald, bloated museum of treachery. Um, Bloated? All right, I'd have to go Ralph Sampson, Akeem Olajuwon. Uh, We'll start with basketball. They they were called the, uh, the Twin Towers. The Houston Cougars, five slamma jamma. Like they were a fraternity because everybody on their team could, uh, Clyde Drexler and all of those guys. I want to say Akeem was on that team too. There was uh, Larry Meshaw, Clyde Drexler, uh, Michael Young, Reed Geddes, and Alvin Franklin, all, all of them from Houston. And they were the key players along with uh, Elijah Warren. They all were just playing above the rim. Um, I didn't like the Fab Five. The same way I didn't like Three's Company because it, it fucked up the original expression. It was the Fab Four, the Beatles. Um, and now they've said the Fab Five way more in my life than the Fab Four. So now I forget which one is right. And Three's Company, it was always Two's Company, Three's a crowd. But it was the 70s. And all you needed was penicillin and it could f- f- fix anything that was wrong with your dick or your cooch. So Three's Company it was a very liberal time. Come and knock on my door. I'll bang you in your roomie. Da da ba ba da be da boo da boo. Uh, whatever. What other ones? Um, Doomsday defense. Uh, marvelous Marvin Hagler. Um. God damn it. Oh, John the Beast Mugabe. I like that one. Bone Crusher Smith. Daryl, Chocolate Thunder, Dawkins, um, Dr. J. They call him the doc because the way he operates. He said, if you want to call me anything, call me the doctor. So you know, they said, well, the doctor is operating tonight. <laughs> that was back then where you had to have like the, the nickname and then the expression. They call me the doc, the doctor, because of the way I operate. They call me the mailman because I always deliver. Milkman Louis, Louis Milk. Hey, what's going on, Louis? Hey. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, Joe. Hey. I'm all right. So, uh, how come they call you Milkman? Because I kill the milkman. Ah. Um. Oh, God, I'm going blank now. Ken Stabler, the snake. Uh, oh, I like what's his face? The big unit. The big unit, because you didn't know if it was because he was 6'10 or if he had a giant dick or both. You had no idea. And the best thing about Randy Johnson now, do you know that that guy is like as good a photographer as he is a, as he is a, a pitcher? You can call Randy Johnson a lot of things. World Series winner, Cy Young Award winner, future Hall of Famer. But now the big unit wants to be known not for baseball, but for his photography. You should see some of the guy's photographs. It's unbelievable. Um, I think he does a lot of, uh, like, not nature, but he also does, like, uh, you know, for, for bands, musician shows. He takes, like, rock photography and all of that type of stuff. Um I just love that because I love actually love photography, but I also love like like Randy Johnson, like his whole demeanor on the mound. You wouldn't think that he would have this other side that he would be able to this artistic side where he would be able to like 
capture people in the moment through photography. Like if I had to like guess, you know, I would be like, I don't know, this guy knows how to like fucking rebuild an engine or something. He just seemed like like he'd go that direction rather than the other direction. All right, let's get back to nicknames here. Um, Tony Collins, The Blade, John Hogg Hanna, Magic Johnson. That was a great one. Um, Purple People Eaters, The No Name Defense, The Over the Hill Gang. Uh, what do they used to call Fran Tarkenton? Didn't he have something? I can't remember. And then let's see, hockey. It was Rocket Richard. That was before my time. The Golden Jet, and then his son was the Golden Brett. Golden Brett wasn't good. Golden Jet was great. No, stop it. Golden Jet. Okay, stop it. Golden Jet. All right. Golden Jet. Um, Dave the Hammer Schultz just beating the fuck out of people. The most feared men to ever lace them up. Dave the Hammer Schultz. That's just a nickname. My given name is David the Hammer Schultz. Fuck. I don't think there's as many good nicknames. Uh, but the one nicknames that don't count are the ones where you give them to yourself. Like Kobe came up with Mamba. You need the fire blaster. Who's the fire blaster? Me. That's my nickname, Sugar Bones. Oh, yeah, that's right. The one you made up for yourself. Yeah, who cares who made it up? It's totally tubular. That's like, I mean, just the douche chills to come up with your own nickname like Michael Jackson. I'm the king of pop. What, because you say so? I think, you know... People should be saying that. You shouldn't be saying that about yourself. No, they're ignorant. That's ignorant. They call me the sidewinder. Um, I'm trying to think. There was a lot of boxers that had great fucking nicknames. Okay, you're fighting a guy named Boxcar Bob. Rolled his way up from the boxcars, did he? Uh, no, not yet. He still lives at the train yard. But he's a hungry young fighter. In fact, he's actually fighting for a sandwich. Oh, my God, the executioner. Um, oh, fuck. This is just, you know, this, this always reminds me back in the day when you would walk into a record store. You'd be driving around all week thinking of all the fucking cassette tapes, CDs, records you were going to buy. And then you'd go into the store and you just draw a blank. Going, who the fuck did it? What? I got to start writing these things down. You know, I got to get back to you on this one. Um. Because I know there was way more. There was so many. George the Iceman Gervin. They call me the Iceman because I'm so cold. You know, Fatty Roland Taylor and Julius Irvin started calling me Ice, and I'm Ice now. They call him the Iceman, Mr. Cool. Um, do you remember in, in uh, Foot Locker, Athlete's Foot, they had all those posters of all those basketball players? And then they had this one where they took this picture of all the great basketball players at the time and everybody had on a, like judges robes and they'd lined them up like a giant class photo and they called it the Supreme Court and they were on a basketball court. It was the fucking shit. Um, ah, fuck, come on, this guy. Chief Robert Parrish, Chief. I used to call him, I thought they called him Chief because he was the leader. Of the team, and then I I didn't realize it was they reminded him of that that character in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Fighting out of the blue corner, the doctor of destruction, 